I knew, we knew it was going to be a big challenge, you know, uh, scheme-wise, uh, regardless of how you matched up. And, uh, you know, knew that, uh, again, they presented a lot of issues. I think they were the top, uh, the most efficient passing offense as a run offense, but they were the most efficient passing offense in the ACC coming into the game. And uh, had tremendous balance uh, to what they're doing, but a very good, uh, you know, running team. And uh, we are going to have to really, you know, play out of our minds up front, you know, the best game we've played all year. Uh, in regards to just, again, you know, playing technique and getting out of our, our stances and striking and, you know, knocking people back and staying on our backside, it really felt a lot like Georgia Tech. Uh, felt that uh, going into the game, our backside pursuit, our ability to stay on our feet backside was as important uh, as setting the edge on the front side. And uh, those guys really, uh, you know, answered the bell um, just collectively. Our guys played with passion, uh, came out, and we were very aggressive uh, uh, from the onset. And, uh, you know, as the game you know, went on, we got better and better and really got into a rhythm. And uh, I thought, again, our third quarter uh, was as, as dominant as any uh, moment in the game, just because I, there's still a little bit. It's only whatever it was, 17-3. Right. Uh, and uh, really, again, the first couple times out, really uh, got into a good rhythm and, you know, set the tone for the second half. And just, but all three levels, you know, really were outstanding. I think DK got banged up. And, uh, Mario came in and did a really nice job, and and of course Xavier was was uh, dinged up, didn't didn't make the trip, and had some depth issues at linebacker. And uh, guys really uh, again uh, answered the bell and played well. How important was the play of Justin Foster? Kind of yeah, he, you know, anytime you can have a you know somebody that's not only doing their job but is being disruptive and uh, causing them problems in regards to. Uh, both the run and the pass game. Um, it's going to be a big time thing. And, and but Justin played well, and uh, uh, he's, he's graded out very well all season. Um, but and the production was has been good. But today was a, you know to me as an indicator of just how his his comfort level, his confidence, uh, his understanding of not only his job but guys around him, and uh, just really really played uh, extremely well up front. Just at first glance, is that possibly the best you've ever seen him play most consistently over the course I of the I think game? it might have been his best game. Again, production-wise, it probably uh, will will be his most productive game. And again, against a team that you know we really had a, a tremendous respect for and how well they're coached and their scheme and uh, their ability to have balance. Uh, it's hard sometimes for guys like that to show up uh, as much. And boy, he, uh, he really did today. Randy, right, coming into the season, there's a lot of questions about the linebacker mm -hmm. group. What can you say about those guys now after game seven? Yeah, we're going to love them as much as anything. They're great, great leaders and uh, very consistent. And uh, again, play with a good toughness. I've seen that group get better as the season's gone on. And uh, we've had some, again, some, some guys banged up. We'd like to continue to develop the depth. And, and I think that we have improved there. But i uh, got to stay healthy. Um, but I've uh, been real proud of that group. With DK's turf toe, do you know how severe it was? And it wasn't very severe. Okay. Uh, probably could have gone. Uh, and, uh, I'm, you know, some of us just got my fingers crossed. But I, I think he'll be fine. Any is that the best? Xavier Kelly, do you know? Just a uh, little stinger. Okay. He's fine. Is that the best game Pinkney's had this year? I think so, without question. Um, he really did a great job, stayed on his feet. He had his best week of practice uh, of the season. And he's had his best attitude, and, and it's amazing how that, that you know, coincides. Uh, really had a, a really good game. I'm assuming you have to love to see the way Goodrich came in and played after being kept out all of last week. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, Mario, uh, was the Mario that we thought, you know, coming into fall camp, what he showed uh, during camp and uh, at times during spring ball. So uh, we needed that. Those guys can't play the whole game, and so to continue to develop the depth, Sheridan came back and uh, bounced back you know, well, and, and uh, but Mario did a great job again that, that play in the third quarter and on that comeback. I think we had his own pressure on and just he did a great job of, of uh, breaking on the ball and, and uh, I think it was a second long <coughs> and uh, knocks it down and gives us a, you know, 